Christian, everyone. April 11, 2016, we're airing, uh, inter interviewing Eric Swihart. Uh, Eric, uh, tell us about what you do. I play um, instruments for a living, and I'm the best in the whole world. What uh, band do you play for? The Jimi Hendrix Experience. Jimi Hendrix Experience? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the one with the dude who shot his face, right? No, that's the Kurt Cobain Experience. Kurt Cobain yeah. Experience? Yeah. Yeah, I hear that's a pretty experience. wild ride. So I was one of the white dudes that nobody knew. So, like, we actually had... Little white dude. Well, exactly. I thought they were all white. No. So, people don't know this, but Jimi Hendrix was, like, actually our slave, and we kept him captive. Yeah. We made him play guitar. I actually taught him everything he knows. Oh, yeah? Uh, Wait, so why wasn't it the Eric Swihart experience? Because uh, we didn't want... We wanted a black image in our band. To, to why didn't you just, like, put on some Nutella? We, well... Because I'm not retarded. Uh, what do you mean? So you had somebody else get it, and now they're famous, and you're not. Yeah, but I know deep down that I'm the real Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> well, nobody else does. Doesn't matter. It's about the music. That's what... Uh, I okay, uh, how would you say your relationship with your drummer is? Drummer? Yeah, your drummer. He's kind of a dummy sometimes. A lot of times. Most of the time. All the time. Um, a lot of the time, I, I ask him to play, like, like, you know, good bands like UFO, uh, what else, the Rolling Stones, and he never wants to play Rolling Stones, he just wants to play Megadeth, uh, I, just, I don't understand, Megadeth, Megaqueef, they all sound the same, <laughs> you know, and, and he wants to play like those bands, and I'm not into eating babies, so I don't like doing that, but I would, I really like, um, Sammy Hagar, so, and I, I also really like the, um, the one with the one guitar player who's really good, I think his name is, uh, Kirk uh, Hammett, Kirk Hammett, yeah, there you go, that's the one, Hammett, I, I, uh, back in, like, 1962, I watched Kirk Hammett and Michael Schenker perform a dual solo together, of uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb, wait, wait, wait. How, how's that a dual solo if there's two? Because dual is two. That's what yeah. my math teacher taught Solo me. Solo is one. Yeah, but then you add dual, the prefix to it, and then it makes it two because that's the English language. If you add a, um, a prefix, I think that's how, I think uh, that's how it works. Uh, who is your English teacher? Um, Mrs. Kansky. Yeah, she should quit. <laughs> she quit? <laughs> she should quit. Why should she quit? I'm a fucking rock star. I don't have to play by anybody's fucking like uh, who would you say your biggest influence is? Dimebag Daryl, no doubt. <laughs> no doubt about it. No doubt. Never gonna change my mind. Actually, my buddy was the one who shot him on stage. Oh yeah, wait, are you still buddies with him? No. I told him, like, if he, he said he was gonna do it, I thought he was joking. So, I like, I, I just, just joking too, and I was like, huh. And then, and then it happened. I was like, "Oh shit, this really did happen." Uh, so, uh, if you were to have an arch nemesis, you know how Megadeth and Metallica were uh, ne enemies. Who would yours be? You know what? Probably Floyd Rose. Floyd Rose. Honest here. What's Floyd that? Rose. I hate his stupid white hair. Looks like I could like. <laughs> Could lay an egg in his hair and then it would have to like a dime bag or somebody or some gave Sammy Hagar's and, and and like I I look at him and I just want to pee on his face. <laughs> Reminds me of like, that old grandpa who like is a child rapist and like <laughs> and uh who just likes, you know, getting peed on. Because, like, I'd start peeing on him, and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm winning right now. But then he'd say something really kinky, and I'd be like, ooh, I don't know if I want to pee on you anymore. And, and uh, yeah. Is it really weird, though? Because I've peed on many people that, like, for pleasure, like girls. But it's just a rock and roll life, you know? Just a rock and roll life, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say is the hardest thing you've experimented with? You know what? I'm going to have to say... Um, Muslims, right now. <laughs> I don't want to be 
a single hour I know about these poor people who aren't really poor because they're all they can spend money on tablecloths and put them around their head. Okay, that was really racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Here, here, we're gonna have a a caller question. Uh, ring, 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 ring. Me, oh. h- hello. This is towards Eric. Yeah. Uh, what was your first instrument you've ever played? Trombone. Oh uh, well. I don't think so. I see a skin flute here. Skin flute? I think you're uh, looking at yourself, buddy. So. N- no, it says Eric Swihart plays skin flute. Uh, uh, careful, ex- excuse me. Uh, we're gonna. Skin none flute. of that. None of that. No, 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 no. Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> I want you to march your stupid little brown Mega. face. Mega all Cleef the sucks. Way. All the way. Click. No, the the call's point. done. Call's Wait. done. Call's done. Sorry. I click back. I click back. Now it's a double call. <laughs> click back. That's how that works. So I'm looking in the phone book right now, and it says that you like this um, on your name. <laughs> it says it's say right. that it's... It says call number 369. It's phone number is 69penispenis at penis.org. Uh, okay, okay. That, that's... All right, we're done with this to your question. He okay. likes penis. All right, all right. All right. Good. So, uh, what would you say other... Who has been your greatest friend in the music industry? Who's helped you the most? It's Skin Flute. Iggy Steen, Malmo Steen. I love him. I love, he's very humble. He's a humble person. He uh, honestly, I look at him and I think of like strawberry muffins because he's so sweet. And, uh, <laughs> and I just, I don't understand why people dislike him because a lot of people in the industry don't like him. I'm talking about the porn industry, by the way, because he's was a male actress, so actor. Okay. Um, yeah, he's good. He's cool. So, uh, this is a question from our uh, Facebook page. What is your opinion on the Phil Anselmo white power controversy? I think Phil's right. Phil. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stick up for him. He's should be thrown into uh, one of those prisons that grabs you or your, like, balls by the uh, skin with the uh, pliers and starts, like, pulling on it, and then you're like, ow, that hurts, and they, they don't stop because you're terrible for him. Other than that, though, he's okay. Have you ever been to prison? Yeah, sometimes. For for what? Rock and roll. Rocking too hard, honestly. One of these concerts, I was just going so hard on the guitar, my fingers just melted off, and, and what happened was... I went to go give a high five to somebody, and my fingers were still hot as molten lava, and it burned their hand, and then I got in trouble, and so I got sent to jail. Wow. And people were like, hey, how'd you get to here? And I was so, like, I killed somebody. Speaking of guitars and a great guitarist, what do you think of James Hetfield's solo album? The yeah, yeah, yeah solo album? I think, <laughs> uh, I think that he should... No, 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 no. it's called Who oh, Yeah. Who oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of his different solo album. Yeah, that, we're talking I think about it's his garbage. Notes, man. It's garbage. You think it's garbage? So uh, those, are, those are too good, so it makes me look bad. So, what do you think about his idea? They're trying to push it. He's a little unsure if he wants to do it. He's thinking about just having a show where he eats slugs for 30 minutes. I mean, can't really say I've ever been into that fetish, but... If he's uh, really into eating slugs and some other very nice woman or man or something else is into that with him, then I don't see a problem with it as long as he's not eating slugs in front of me. No. Okay. Uh, what? You have yep. any pets? Uh-huh. What do you think yep. of it? What have any? Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, spit out your here. Uh, I have... No, I don't have any action. Okay, uh, <laughs> any comments on your new sig- signature Line 6 amplifier? It's beautiful. I love it. I added a special feature in which that anybody besides me who plays one, you can go out and buy one of these right now. Sometimes it'll turn off just to show how good you are at <laughs> playing guitar. And if it turns off, that means you're really rocking hard. You need to cool down, and the amp has to, amp has to take a little chill break. So, Donald Trump. Perfect. 
<laughs> oh, no doubt about it. Pro life, no doubt about it. Oh yeah. Uh, what, what's just, what do you like about him? Pro life, it's American. Pro non gay. Uh, um, <laughs> what are your thoughts on uh, gay marriage? It's gay, really gay. It's like, I mean, yeah, that's kind of implied by the name. That's why it's gay. Everybody asks me why I'm against it, but then I see all these dudes humping each other. And they're like, oh, okay. I guess I'm gay. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you think of the new Megadeth album, D Dystopia? <laughs> it's good. So it's uh, almost as almost as good as um, Into the Fire by by Ingve. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, I just want to ask you, what do you think about Creed? I think that. Scott Stapp needs to um, stop fingering God and, and pursue his own music career as a pastor. As a pastor, because nobody knows better than being locked in a room by yourself for 10 hours. That's a metaphor on the church. Okay. Uh, Steve Vai or Paul Gilbert? Dime back. No doubt. Okay. No kind of question is that. Who asked Who, that? Who's your favorite vocalist for Anthrax? Phil and Soma. Uh, okay. Or Joe Beldon. He's pretty good. Too. Uh, Led Zeppelin or Black Sabbath? Well, that's a tough one. I'm gonna have to go with uh, I'm gonna have to go with Budgie. Budgie on that one. Think about pussy. Oh, no. What would you classify them as? Would you classify them as grunge? Just who? Uh, oh, who? You, you have bad theo feelings about who? vacancy. Oh, you, you don't know them? Yeah. I know. No. Yeah, I'm just gonna sing you one of their samples. Mm. La 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 la. la, 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 la. You remember? You, you, I think so. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think we... You know? I think he had the tuner. He, dro he dropped the tuner. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh -huh. Hey, uh... I think they're post-grunge vegan metal, honestly. Uh, what do you think about the Beatles? Um, I think Beatles are really interesting insects. Uh, All right. Are you talking about bands? I've never heard of the Beatles before. Is that like a new grunge band that just come up? Yeah, they're they're uh, actually uh, industrial metal. Industrial metal. <laughs> They toy with nine inch nails. No, they, they don't. Nine inch nails. They actually have a feud. Oh man. Yeah. You don't know if you weren't in the in industrial scene. Uh, so what do you think about Slayer touring with Lamb of God and Opeth? Um, I think it's really good that all these satanic metal bands started going to the Lamb of God church. <laughs> Very, very hard for me to be that that they ditched their ways of Satan and started thinking about what's important in life, and that's Jesus Christ. So, what do you think about uh, Rob Zombie? I think he kind of looks like a chode, honestly. All right. Uh, speaking of uh, Rob Zombie, uh, how religious are you? Um, well, I go to church for the, the bread and the wine. The bread. It's free. And, um, um, yeah, that's about my views. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm polytheist, so I believe in m multiple religions. Polytheist. Such as Buddhism, churchism, Jewism. Um, I'm familiar with, uh... Buddhism. Could you tell me about it? It's uh, it's basically like if you're 18 years old and you like are really emo, and you talk about how much you love Panic at the Disco, then you, then you go into Buddhism because you think you're really funny and cool, but in reality, 
you're just like some loser who doesn't know anything about how the world works. Alright, so, let's talk about the world and things that matter. What do you think about the My Chemical Romance breakup? That was one of the saddest things that ever happened in my generation at the time. I couldn't believe that one of my favorite bands just come out. Most, one of the most original songs I've ever heard in my life, and they break up. I was really sad, but I, I just yeah. couldn't, couldn't believe my eyes. What do you think about uh, their lead singer? Uh, what, what's their lead singer's Bar name? Bar Gabe. I think he's really hot. <laughs> he honestly just like looks nice. Uh, how do you get your uh, your screaming tone? Um, basically, what I do is I I get a gallon of gas and I chug one gallon of gas in the morning and one gallon of gas at nine and by the time I wake up, my throat is basically screwed. Um, and that's how I achieve my raspy tone that only could be replicated by Kirk Cobain. Uh, can you uh, show us an example of that? Uh, yep. <laughs> how about your guitar tone? Guitar tone? I plug yeah. in line 6 amp. Um, I turn the bass up to 11, the treble up to 11 and a half, and then I turn the mids down to negative one. Um, and then what I do is I like to take my guitar and I like to get sour milk and I pour it all over the pickups. And then I let it dry for a bit and so I get this really vintage looking smelly tone. Nobody can replicate it because they just don't know that I'm just pouring fucking milk on my guitar. <laughs> And he's just looking at me like I'm some freako, but it's the secret of my of my guitar tone. I'm like, dude, I put plugs into a line six, and I'm like, yeah, you got that right. Like, Does he pour Kool Aid on his guitar? I'm like, nope, you're close though. It's milk. Uh, so, uh, who's your guitar tech, and uh, what's your relationship like with him? He's black. Um, I don't know his name. I think it's like Jamil, something like that. Maybe Tarzan. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and he like, I don't know, he's kind of like smart ass. He thinks he's better guitar than me. But he's All not. right. Um. Yes. So, if you could look like anyone in the world, who would it be? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking, speaking of people who look like you, uh, do you have any children? Yes. I yeah? have a little junior, Eric Mustaine Jr., <laughs> my favorite out of all the juniors. <laughs> wait, um, wait, wait, wait. How many juniors do you have? Just a couple, like seven. <laughs> I named them all my name. They all look the same. They're all sent, sent tuplets, so they all look exactly the same, and they're all the same age. And so when they go to school, junior number one always gets in trouble with junior number two, and then it, whew, it's bad. So, uh, what's your wife like? Hot. No, does it? Reminds me of a female version of Dimebag Girl. So, country, uh, country American we heard woman. that, you know, last time you were on Conan, you guys were talking about Minecraft story mode and how good you thought it was going to be. Uh, did it live up to your expectations? It did not live up to my expectations, i got to be honest here. Um, I really thought this game was going to pull through. Um, if made a promise to, to Dimebag up in the sky, up in the sky rest in peace, that I would uh, quit playing guitar if, if this game was good. And it wasn't. It wasn't good. Because like Dimebag was always a fan of Minecraft. He's, that's how he was. He would always play Minecraft before practice. Uh, Xbox or PlayStation? Huh. Uh. Yeah? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um, so, before you go to bed every night, what do you do? Um, I like to kiss up my shrine. Pray to dime every day, every night. Pray to dime, dear Lord, Savior, dime back, Daryl. 
I want to thank you for the gift that you've given me to play the guitar like a fucking amazing guitarist. And I love you. I wish you were still here this time, but you're not because you're dead. So, and then I go to bed. Did you ever have any vivid dreams or flashbacks of Randy Rhodes' tragic plane crash? Man, I, uh, I was actually on that plane. But I, parachuted, I parachuted off because I knew that they were going to die. And I said, man, you guys are retarded and you're going to die. And then they were like, no, we're not going to die. We're just kind of going to hit the ground not, not so hard. And I was like, well, if you think so, let's see. So... While we're on the topic of, uh, death, you got any, uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 Ozzy Osbourne, what, what was touring with him like? Ah, sounds interesting. He was cool. He was cool.